Well, hi Angus, can you tell me what you're studying at the moment? Um, well, I'm studying dentistry at Newcastle University, which is really good. Um, I'm just about to go into my fourth year. Fantastic. When were you first diagnosed with dyslexia? Um, I wasn't diagnosed with dyslexia until I came to Winstanley, um, so not until I was 16. Um, so, never really thought about it at all. Um, before then, my little brother's dyslexic, um, but he he was he's has much more difficulty than I do um, with with the with the dyslexia. So it never really came to light that I might be either until um, I came to Winstanley and everyone got the quick scan test. Was it a surprise? Um, a little bit, because like. While I, while I was at high school, um, I just thought maybe it was, it was just how I was really. Like, I've never had any difficulty in the exams or anything, so I never really thought maybe there's a reason why there's certain things I can't do. Like I could never read out loud very well, or I couldn't remember long lists of numbers in my head. I just thought that's just how I was, that there wasn't anything beyond that really. How did you feel about the diagnosis? Um, well, I was a bit surprised, really, and I thought, "Ooh, heck, um, <laughs> I've, been, I've been diagnosed with a learning difficulty." Um, so yeah, I was a bit, a little bit upset for a little bit, but um, but after that, we sort of talked through it and got support for that immediately after it, it came to light that I might be dyslexic. Um, so any worries that I had were soon put to bed. What strategies and support did you find really worked for you? Well, there's a whole range of different things that came. Um, as soon as as soon as I was diagnosed and that was sorted, um, there was every strategy under the sun we went through. Everything was suggested and things like um, having an overlay when you're writing down um, and just all kinds of other things that I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just <laughs> check, just checking things out and just going through giving different tricks um, not necessarily set strategies as in um, formulate how to write an essay or anything like that but lots of little tips to help put together essays and, and things in a way that reads and flows much better mm -hmm. um, than how I'd write it in, in its raw form um, so all these strategies just came along um, and really improved the quality of the work I was doing. How have things changed for you since you've started your degree? Well, you're into four years <laughs> now, yeah. so you, you're obviously successful. Yeah, so, so um, universities definitely take notice if um, you tell them that you've got a learning difficulty. Um, they'll bend over backwards um, to make everything accessible. Obviously, you have to do the same. You have to jump through the same hoops as everyone else, but they make it so that your learning difficulty isn't the reason why you can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, so they put a lot of effort in. Um, I get extra funding for equipment and for any, anything else that I need um, that helps me um, to progress the same way as everyone else. I get extra time in my exams, which is really helpful when you're trying to struggle to write an essay in, in 20 minutes. Um, that, that's a bit too tight for me, so giving that extra help lets me sit there, think about what I'm going to do mm -hmm. and get it and get what I want to say across um, in a way that's easy for the examiner to read, really. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to a student who thought they might be dyslexic or had some other kind of learning difference? Well, I'd, I'd say that um, there's, it's not a bad thing. In fact, I probably think it's a bonus in, 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 all, any, in many respects. Um, in that it's not something that could stop you doing anything that you're trying to do. Like I got into dentistry, which is probably one of the harder degrees to get into, um, so it didn't stop me there. And also, that really there's a lot of things out there that can help you. Like <laughs> this, the um, study support staff here are absolutely brilliant. That just help anything that um, anything that you need. Um, just work with them and just try anything. I know some of the strategies you might think like, hmm, that's not really going to work. That's fine. There's a million other things that you, that you can try and there probably almost definitely is something that 
can do to make things easier in a way that you probably didn't think you were even having trouble with in the past. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Angus.